Inakuwa jo tuongo nguvu, mina itua presenter Ali Yua Entertainment PA. Shukran za dhati kukua miongoni mwa watu mbawa na tazama videos za kwangu. Na shukran pia kukua team presenter Ali. Wana kujuzo kumba hii ni miongoni mwa team kubwa sana. Ambazo zina show love na support hapa nchini Kenya. Big shout out kukua ya mbae siku zote. Una like, comment, kushare. Chamu imu kabisa inakuwa gani kusubscribe. Na juzikati ni mifanya interview na mwanadada kwa jina la Nancy. Na watu alisisitiza sana. Wakasema presenter Ali. Either via mask ama uenshua kumba kuna social distance na lewa kama unavuona ni meakikishu kumba mimi na guest wa kwangu uh, tuko na social distance guest wa kwangu atakuwa leo anazungumzia swala la kuenda saudia tumona watu wengi wanatamani sana kuenda kule tumona watu wameenda kule eh, wakatoka hali zao zikiwa mbaya tumona wengine umetoka kule hali zao zikiwa nzuri ila ye siku ya leo she has an amazing story she's here to share it with you na naombo jitambulishi yeah, tell us your experience how was it ulienda ikawaji ukapatana nao yani eh, the people walikuwaaje how did they treat you malipo yalikuwaaje yani just tell us your story okay kwa majina naitwa Joyce mm -hmm. Wangena yeah nimekuwa nikifanya kazi katika nchi ya Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. nilienda huko mwaka wa 2014 mm -hmm. nivyo niliamua kwenda Saudi Arabia yeah niende nikatafutia watoto wangu mm -hmm. Na haikuwa raisi vile mm. kuamua kwenda Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Juu huko tulikuwa tunasikia story mbaya sana za Saudia. Mm -hmm. Watu wanauawa, wanateswa, wanachapwa, wengine wanawekwa kwa freezer, story kama hizo. Yeah. Lakini mimi niliamua nitaenda kufanya kazi huko hata kama nasikia mabaya kuhusu Saudia, juu mm -hmm. nilikuwa na haja sana na kazi. Yeah. Na nilipofika katika hiyo nchi ya Saudi Arabia, nilipata vile nilikuwa nasikia hayo mm -hmm. mambo mimi siko ipatana nayo. Yeah. Juu from the first day yenye niliingia kwa hiyo nyumba mm -hmm. mimi nilipokelewa vizuri mm -hmm. nilipata watu wazuri boss wangu wote walikuwa wazuri watoto mm -hmm. wake wote walikuwa wazuri mm -hmm. na hata kama kulingana na vile agent wangu alikuwa ameniambia nitalipwa pesa nzuri mm -hmm. pia naenda kufanya kazi kwa mtu mmoja tu shosho mm -hmm. mzee mm -hmm. mama mzee mm -hmm. but nilipofika huko nikapata sio hivyo mm -hmm. nikapata salary ni kidogo mm -hmm. naenda kufanya kazi nyumba kubwa iko na watoto sita mm -hmm. a family of eight yeah. sasa hadi wazazi wao yeah. it was a family of eight na siku ya kwanza nilikataa kwanza nikawaambia mimi sifanye hiyo kazi juu siku nimeambiwa nikuje nifanye hiyo kazi mm -hmm. lakini walikuwa watu wazuri walinichukua wakanipeleka ofisi tukaenda tukaongea mm -hmm. na ikasemekana niongezewe salary mm -hmm. nivyo niweze kufanya kazi kwa ile nyumba na nilikubali mm -hmm. tukaenda tukarudi na wao kwa nyumba mm -hmm. na nikakuwa nikifanya kazi huko yeah. ingawaje kazi siku za kwanza ilikuwa kazi ngumu kazi ni mingi ni nzito but with the time nilienda nikazoea ile ile kazi mm -hmm. na sasa nikaanza kuiona ikiwa kazi rahisi na pia yeah. tukaweza kuzoeana vizuri na boss wangu mm -hmm. tulikuwa tunaelewana vizuri mm -hmm. nikitaka kitu nawaambia wananinunulia nikikonteka naenda us, wananipeleka hospitali mm -hmm. nikitaka hata kwenda bank kutuma pesa wananipeleka natuma pesa sijai kosewa hata kidogo kwa ile nyumba mm -hmm. salary nilikuwa napewa ule wakati una fasi jai cherewesho salary yangu mm -hmm. Even though miezi ya kwanza three months nilifanya on probation it was on probation mm -hmm. na vile the three months zilisha mm -hmm. i was paid all my salary for the three oh. months so mimi naweza sema sijawahi teseka kwa ile nyumba mm. ata siku hata moja wamekuwa watu wazuri mm -hmm. chakula nilikuwa nakula vizuri sijai nyimo chakula siku hata moja sijai yeah. teseka mm -hmm. kulala unalala masaa yale yanastahili even though sometimes unajipata kazi imekuwa mingi umelala saa nane usiku saa tisa mm -hmm. but walikuwa watu very understanding mm -hmm. so tuliendelea hivyo na tukakaa na wao vizuri for seven good years nilikuwa wow. huko seven years yeah. and what what are some of the good memories ambazo pengine unakumbuka ukiwa Saudi Okay hao watu tumepelekana na wao vizuri mm -hmm. na nakumbuka hata kuna wakati nilikonzeka nikiwa huko Saudi mm -hmm. walinipeleka hospitali nikafanywa surgery mm -hmm. na walini treat vizuri kabisa did, You paid for the surgery I didn't pay anything Au kulipa chochote yeah. yeah Na we, we have many people mba wanaendaga Saudi and then at the end of the day unapata kwamba you know bad things happen to them Yeah we've seen the stories to mezisikia uh, why do you think now uh, they get uh, bad people ama okay vile nitasema mm. binadamu ni binadamu tu 
Mm -hmm. Au tu wa Saudi ni same tu na hapa Kenya. Hata hapa unaweza pata kuna mtu ameajiliwa but boss yako ni mzuri. Mm -hmm. Same case tu Saudi. Unaweza enda uangukie boss mzuri, unaweza enda uangukie boss mbaya. Mm -hmm. But sasa wewe chukua muda wako u understand your boss. Mm -hmm. Ujua huyu mtu akikasirika hasira zake huwa zinapanda hadi wapi. Huyu mm. mtu mtaezaje kukaa na yeye bila ya yeye kukasirika vile anakasirika. Mm. Kwanza muunderstand ujue hata anakasirishwa na nini. Mm. Tena kitu kingine Watu wengine unapatanga ameenda Saudi, ameanza mm. kukua kichwa ngumu. Mm. Anataka kuonyesha huyu Mwarabu mimi ni kichwa ngumu, mimi mtu wa kuambiwa nifanye hivi. Mm. We ni mdogo sana kwangu. Maybe unapata mama ako na 35 years but mwenye ameenda amemwajili ni mtu wa kona 25 years 27. Yeah. So anaanza ile ya kumdharau huyu ni mtoto sana kwangu. Usiende kujifanya kichwa ngumu Saudi. Mm. Muone tu huyo ni bosi yako, muheshimu, mpe ile heshima yenye. Anastahili. Anastahili. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a case of whereby umeenda, umesema kwamba naweza nikaenda nikapata kwamba boss wangu ni mbaya. Mm -hmm. Pengine anarombaya, mm -hmm. pengine ana overwork, pengine ana mistreat. Uh, what would you say is the right thing ya mimi kufanya that mm -hmm. nimeenda nimepata? I thought my boss was good but nime realize is a bad one. What is the right thing kufanya? Ukienda upatane na boss kama huyo na una, umeangalia ukaona vizuri huyu mtu hatuwezi sikizana hata kidogo mm. mwambie tu akurudishe kwa ofisi na atakurudisha mwambie mimi kazi yako sitaweza nimeangalia nimeona hatuwezi elewana na wewe nirudishe tu kwa ofisi mm. atakuchukua atakurudisha kwa ofisi na atapewa msichana mwingine oh. na wewe pia uta, ukirudishwa pale kwa ofisi utatafutiwa nyumba ingine nyumba nyingine na when, wakati ambapo umeenda pale eh, kwa boss wako mm -hmm. are you allowed to keep eh, contact with let's say like the agent ambaye alikuleta yeah. So is it also a right thing kufanya ku, 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 ku communicate na agent kumwambia you don't like where you are am the best thing ni kumwambia kwanza employer. Kwanza unastahili kuongea na your boss mm -hmm. umwambie. Ukiona boss yako hataki kukusikiza hataki kukuelewa sasa hapo ndipo unaweza pigia your agent umwambie mm -hmm. vile iko. Yeah. Umwambie zile shida zinye unapitia. Yeah. Na your agent sasa ataweza kuongea na ofisi ya Saudi mm -hmm. na watakushughulikia. Okay. The other day nilikuwa na fanya interview na Jimmy Gate. He told me that one of the main reasons why people go there and you know they are mistreated wanapigwa uh, wanafanywa mambo mabaya is because probably this was were his words unapata mtu ameenda kule ameenda kulala pengine na mke wa bosi ama ameenda kulala na bosi wake then the womb, the wife knows vitu kama hivyo eh hayo maneno yana ukweli kweli yeah hiyo ni ukweli uh -huh. na pia unapatanga watu wengi Mm -hmm. ndio maana huwa wanakufa in Saudi. Mm -hmm. Juu ukienda uanze kulala na yule mwanaume, once yule mwanamke atajua, hakuna mm -hmm. kitu kingine mtaongelelea, yeah. ni kifo. Ni kifo. Ama akutese. Wow. Uta, utayapata mibi hata unachapwa na yule mwanamke atashirikiana na watoto wake na mm -hmm. watakutapa na yule mwanaume hakuna kitu atafanya. Hata aizi kukutetea ama aseme nini. Mm -hmm. Na hata mwanaume mwenyewe akienda ambie mke wake ilienda hivi na hivi. Sasa mwanamke anaonanga wewe ndiye uri seduce bwana yake. So makosa inakuwa ni kwako na maybe yule mwanaume ndiye alikuwa approach. So vile unastahili kufanya ukiona mwanaume kama huyo anakukujia na njia kama hizo za mapenzi, mwambie from the first day mimi hiyo staki hiyo sio kitu yenye ilinileta hapa Saudi. Mi hapo fanya kazi na ukiendelea na hivi mimi nitatoka kwa hii nyumba yako na nitaenda. Hmm. Sasa ukimtishia hivyo ataachana na wewe. Na ukiona haachani na wewe hata usiende kuambia yule mwanamke. Juu tena unaweza enda kuambia mwanamke vile bwanake anakufanyia naye mwanamke akugeuke. So vile unastahili kufanya. Ukiona huyu mwanamume umejaribu kabisa kumkataza na kusiki. Unaweza sasa hapo uchukue hatua utoke nje na utoroke. Utoroke. Yeah. Na how safe is it? You know how safe is the place ukiamua kwamba let's say kumearibika na nataka kutoroka. Mm -hmm. Let's say umetoroka you are outside the, the compound. Yeah. Is it safe? Is yeah, it, it is. Uh -huh. Because ukitoroka 
Uh -huh. Si ati utoroke uende kwa hizo manyumba zingine ama wapi. Uh -huh. Ukitoroka, torokea polisi yenye iko karibu. Oh. Unachukua taxi. Taxi Saudi ni mingi sana. Uh -huh. Chukua taxi, wambia wakuelekeze kwa police station yenye iko karibu. Pia Saudi polisi wako wengi sana kwa barabara. We tembea tu hivi na barabara. Ukipata polisi, wasimamishe, wapea shida zako na watakupeleka kwa Kenya na embassy. Okay. And that, uh, knowing that Saudi is an Islamic state, eh? yeah. uh, ningependa pia kujua, you know, kuna, kuna Islam wanaenda kule na pia kuna watu ambao Islam wanaenda kule. Wakati ambapo umetoroka unafaa ujifunike because it's an Islamic state ama unaweza ukatembea kichwa wazi. Unaweza tembea okay ukiwa kwa nyumba uh -huh. pia huwa tunajifunika kichwa. Yeah. So hata ile time yenye unatoroka bado uh -huh. umefunika kichwa. Umefunika yeah. yeah. But for your safety kama utaweza uchukue the abaya the, the buibui the, yeah, yeah, ile yeah. ya black. Yeah. Wewe hiyo buibui na utafuta ile kitu ya kujifunga ubakishe tu macho. Yeah. Inaitwa ni kab. Yeah. Jifunge ni kab ubakishe tu macho then utoke then utoke yeah, yeah. so na polisi mm. wa arabu wakiona mwanamke kama huyo wako kwa barabara anatembea juu saudi sio sana watu huwa wanatembea hivi kwa barabara mm. na ngu. so polisi wakiona mwanamke kwa barabara anatembea ameenda kuomba usaidizi huwa wanamsikiza oh yeah, yeah. and it's safe waweza wakakurudisha huko kwa employer they it's it's actually very safe yeah first yeah. watakupeleka kwa embassy ya Kenya sasa mm -hmm. embassy ndio itaenda idil na your boss. And do you feel kwamba the Kenyan embassy is doing enough when it comes to solving the cases zenye zimekuwaga kule? I don't know. You see is yongelele. You wezu kongele. <laughs> okay. So ukafanya kazi kule miaka saba. Yeah. Ba Baada ya miaka saba ukamua unarudi nyumbani. Yes. Uh, awaku kata they were just happy. Ama we mwenye ndo liku umeisi kwamba umefika mwisho. Okay vile nilifanya mm -hmm. si kufanya kazi kwa miaka saba mfululizo mm -hmm. nilikuwa nakuja vacation. Oh. Contract ya kwanza nilifanya ya two years nikakuja vacation then nikarudi nikafanya one year nine months. Once umerudi kwa ile boma tena mm -hmm. the same house mm -hmm. now you can come for vacation after one year one year six months so what, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Nilikuwa nakuja vacation one year one year six months even nakuja vacation. Mm -hmm. But now after the seven years nikaamua sasa naenda kabisa nyumbani wow. even though hawakufurahi. Hawakufurahi. Yeah. Hawakufurahi. Hata wa leo huwa bado wananitumia mimi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. And what are the biggest lessons ambazo uli learn eh, on your experience from kutoka kuamua unaenda Dubai I mean Saudi si juu mbona Dubai iko kwenye akili yangu unaenda Saudi eh, kwenda na kurudi ni vitu vipi ambavyo uli learn ambazo unaweza ukaambia mtu yote ambaye anasema nataka kwenda Saudi ama na plans za kwenda ngambo ni vitu gani kadhaa ambazo tu ulijifunza uko na hizi ni vitu muhimu sana Okay kitu ya kwanza hmm. ukitaka Okay Saudi ni country mzuri sana. Mm. Ukitaka kupata pesa kama unajua kabisa uko na haja na pesa hata usichague Dubai na Qatar. Mm. Saudi is the best. Mhm. Mm Hiyo ni pesa yenye unaweza enda ufanye kazi, upate pesa yako, mm -hmm. usomeshe watoto na ufanye mambo makubwa sana hapa mm. Kenya ukienda mm. Saudi. Mm. Pia nimeweza kukaa na watu, kukaa nao Waarabu, unawaelewa, unajua mm. vile wanastahili kufanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mnaweza kuelewana na wao. Yeah. So that that is one of the thing ambayo unaweza yeah. ukawaambia. Okay, asante sana kwa muda wako. I uh, mean mfurahi sana. I think kwa mtazamaji ambaye alikuwa hajui mambo kadhaa tu kuhusu, you know, kwenda ngambo na kwenda Saudi ya Dubai vitu kama hivyo ameelewa sana vitu ambavyo anaweza kafanya ili aende akae vizuri nao. I think ni kitu kikubwa ki ambacho unaweza kujifunza. So you on YouTube yeah, I'm on YouTube. Uh -huh. Joy Joy. Yeah, what do you do on YouTube? I advise girls who want to go to Saudi. So that's what you do. Yeah, that's what yeah, I do. Yeah, you advise them. Yeah. Yeah. Kwa nawaambia mambo mengi kuhusu Saudi mm -hmm. vile unastahili kufanya, yani in case kuharibike unastahili kufanya nini vile unaweza kukaa vizuri na your boss, mm -hmm. mheshimiane. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, kwa hivyo mtu yote ambaye pengine in the future unataka kwenda eh, Saudi, Dubai, anywhere, you know, ambao ni abroad kufanya kazi, uh, take a link ya channel yake hapo kwenye 
pinned uh, comment alafu you go there talk to her show her some love team presenter ali mnajua tunavyofanya uniingia pale una show love una show support anaitwa joy joy nimemwambia kwamba joy joy tumetumwa na presenter ali kwa ajili ya ku show some love na support na kama una swali lolote pia unaweza kuzungumza naye ukamuuliza you know mimi nataka kwenda dubai nataka kwenda saudia what should i do nafaa kumuona nani ni vitu gani ambavyo nikienda kule sifai kufanya so guys show some love eh, show some support naomba uh, kuzungumze maneno yako ya mwisho kwa hiyo yote tu ambaye anakutazama aya ningetaka kuambia hivi kwa wale wasichana pia wako Saudi nimesema ukiona kumearibika mm. utoroke mm. but usitoroke uende ukaishi huko kwenye hao wengine wanaishi okay kuna wenye wametoroka na wanaishi maisha mazuri huko mm. but ujue kwanza kuna riski sana ukiwa huko nje juu kwanza ukiwa huko nje hata uko nzeke hauwezi enda hospitali utibiwe because hauna the ikama hauna the work permit ya Saudi na hiyo uwezi enda hospitali bila hiyo na ndiposa unaona hata vifo nyingi zina happen juu ukiwa uko nje na uko nzeke utakufa juu hauwezi enda hospitali yoyote utibiwe so take care ukiwa uko Saudi uishi vizuri na bosi yako ukiona hamuelewani mwambie tu akurudishe kwa ofisi na atafanya hivyo huyo ni binadamu kama wewe usimuogope hivyo ndivyo huwa naambia wasichana usiogope huyo mwarabu watu wengi Saudi ali huwa yeah. wanateseka Saudi juu ya kuogopa mwarabu mm. yani ako na ile uoga ya nikiongea nitachapwa nikiongea huyu mtu anaezaniwa mm. but talk Yeah. Muongeleshe, mwambie shida zako, mwambie iko hivi na hivi na hivi. Tafadhali naomba unisaidie. True. Usiende kumnyamazi huyo Mwarabu. Yeah. We also train ladies who want to go to Saudi Arabia. I work at Everjaki Home Care Institute. We train those ladies on home care, housekeeping, laundry, cookery, pre-departure. I'm the year pre-departure uh, trainer. Program. I'm a resource person at Everjaki Home Care Institute wa tunafunza hao wasichana wenye wanataka kwenda Saudi. At least nowadays kuna hiyo training institute sio kama kitambo vile tulikuwa tunaenda Saudi bila kujua chochote. So I'm the year trainer na huwa pia naongelesha hao wasichana sana sana ndivyo sitaki mtu aende huko ateseke. Lazima niwaambie ukweli wa Saudi. Thank you. Okay, asante sana. Tulikuwa na Joy Joy. Nimekuambia kwamba link ya channel yake na ipin kwenye comment section. Hakikisha eh, kwamba unamshow love na support. Mimi naitwa Presenter Ali, your entertainment PA and I will see you in the next video.